is again. So I know it looks like it has three legs at the moment, but the reason for these actuators in the center, so when they're attached to each leg, I don't squeeze my legs together too much, and when the leg extends outward, it acts as one unit, especially when it goes forward too. So natural hard stops to stop me from overextending my joints, and it's just the best design for this sort of monster. So I ended up wasting a lot of time not going by my own rule. Uh, if you guys are going to be doing an exoskeleton, make sure that the joints articulate exactly where your joints move or you're just going to be wasting time. I learned that the hard way, but uh, I mean the rest of it is pretty solid in regards to movement. So I have a prototype foot I've been working on. I don't know how well that's going to go. It just glides too much. And all the joints in the entire suit is rod end, so it gives a fair amount of articulation for every joint. Uh, and apart from that, uh, we still have to work on the feet. I have to uh, install the hands, that's going to be a pain, but those bare paws are going to be worth it. Uh, finish up the shins, make the helmet, and the backside of the entire suit. And um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know or shoot me a message. I'll try to upload more. Kind of took December off for myself. Everyone needs a break every once in a while. But uh, you guys have a great day and uh, take it easy.